Evening. Right. Um, this arrived. Revel's new Corvette C8 Coupe. Um, this is a very deep box by comparison to normal Revel offerings. A lovely hologram. And uh, yeah, let's have a little look, shall we? Plastic to one side. We have Revel's newer style colour instructions. It's been around a little while now. We've got a lovely decal shape. Very exciting to mow. Usual health and safety rubbish. Okay. Stapled instruction sheet, nonetheless. Uh, usual colour mixes, all done in Revel. Uh, colour. Uh, <coughs> That's very nicely done. A little bit more detail on that, so you can probably tell the parts apart a little bit better. Yeah. Nothing we haven't come to expect from Ravel's recent offerings, this. Um, Instruction-wise, exactly as we expect them now. Um, very nice detail. Colour call-outs. Um, obvious, obvious construction sequencing. Yeah, that's very nice. It's all very lovely. Um, looking at that, we have a choice of a right or left-hand drive. Ooh. I think we can have a right-hand drive onto UK spec. That'd be nice. Um, with oh, but they've even got the wiper positions and the front uh, scuttles different between the two. That's quite nice. Um, That is rather cool, that. Um, uh, tail light painting information, that's useful. That's a nice blow up. Where to paint the, the window surrounds. That's interesting. There's a reference there to decals on the back class. Uh, some grey elements, that's interesting. So that must be some kind of vent or carbon element on the outside. Uh, I'll look at that again in a minute. It's like an opening engine bay top. Separate roof panel, rear spoiler. I've seen a couple of these in the flesh in America and it is a very impressive car. It deserves a good kit. Let's hope this is it, shall we? So back to that deco sheet, uh, here we are, printed in Italy, very interesting, it now says 2024 Carrera Revel, and that's obviously the new owners. These are the bits I was referring to that go on the rear glass at some point, nice bit of carbon fibre going on there, good choice of number plates, typically Revel, Germany, there's lots of number plates and... Um, <coughs> And district and regional codes. It's got stingray badge there, that's nice. Uh, yeah, it's really nicely printed actually. It's nice and crisp, not too glossy. Doesn't look to have masses of carrier film. Lovely. Um, enjoy that one. Now, uh, I, as you can tell, I haven't opened this, so. There's our bag with the body shell. It's very typically Ravel in a lot of ways. It's reminiscent of some of Ravel America's better work. Moulded in badges, though. I get you're giving me a decal as well, but a moulded in badge 
it's just an invitation for issues like elsewhere um, and you can see some fairly impressive plastic flow lines in this and it's white plastic as well it's not my favorite thing in the world um, I you know, when the better ki better manufacturers are moulding in grey, you know, your Tamiyas and, and people like that are moulded in grey or white or black. Yeah, yeah, the white stuff is great, but it really doesn't show off your plastic, your tooling to the best of quality. Tires look lovely. I'll give them that. They're really nice. That's big and littles, by the way. Yeah, fronts and rears. They're all nice and nice. In fact, they do look nice, actually, and they're nice and squishy, which is always good. The really hard ones, I struggle with them. You always wonder about damaging the wheels as you put them on. Uh, this will be lights. Yeah, lights front and rear. Why do I get the feeling that that sprue was intended to be chromed? That's the headlight backs, the tail light backs, the mirrors and the exhaust tips. I'm willing to bet that if I find the US version of this, which of course comes in one of their smaller boxes, that's chromed in that one. That's an intriguing thing. Um, yeah. Do need the panel lines redoing to give them definition. Shape-wise, it looks pretty good. The noise these makes is always the thing. Even though it's now gone to a rear end or rear to mid engine platform and all that lot, the noise that that engine makes is so typically Corvette. It's lovely, lovely. Okay. Let's see what else we've got in this here bag. And the heat, uh, the heat seal stuck it all in place. That's great. Brilliant. And then I was trying to be all slick. That didn't work, did it? And glasses separately packaged. Two bags, actually, for two sprues. That's a nice thing. Check there's nothing loose caught up in that lot. Good, there isn't. That can go in as an appropriate receptacle. Yes, I have a pedal bin under my desk. And um, we'll come back to the glass in a minute. So we have a floor with the usual stuff molded in it. Uh, copyright 2024, Carrera Revel Europe. Uh, 2022 Corvette C8. Okay, that's fine. This kit's been mooted for a couple of years, so that fits quite nicely. Um, looking at that, that floor is already twisted. That way. You can see that it's definitely twisted going to back here grand bit of work to do there bits of engine wheel well liners yeah that's nice bodywork trim brake brake discs and calipers grill insert interior that's your left and right hand uh, drive interior parts hmm. What's that? Some nuts. Some looks like scarring in the plastic. I'm not sure that that's actually there. Oh, it is de detail. Yeah, very much not sure what's going on there. There's some there's some marks. If you can see that showing up on the plastic here and in here. Not sure if that's flow lines or what, but that's obviously not brilliant. That's damage. And one nice touch, by the way, on that deco sheet is there was floor mats, I think. Um, engine. Seatbacks, cool. Wheels. Yeah, they're not the finest piece of work, are they? I'm willing to bet that someone's about to come up with some really nice 3D printed ones to replace those. And if they don't, I shall be badgering them till they do. It's just chunky and soft and... 
yeah. That'll be the left hand drive dash. And that'll be the right hand drive dash. Events, various detail bits, steering wheel, dash shroud, engine bits. Eh. The dash is sweet. It's nicely detailed. It's got the right shapes going on in here and the detaily bits in there. They've obviously, obviously had a Corvette to play with. I believe GM provided them with one and with some CAD and things. Riddled with sink marks. This has got sinkage all across it. And then here. Right, okay. So I'm looking for a scuttle. Now there's a scuttle. So is that one that you have to modify that for left and right hand drive? Right. Ah, yeah, you, right, okay, so you drill holes for the wipers dependent upon which whether you're going left or right and drive okay that's cool had a moment then i was expecting two of them there are however two sets of wipers which is good visors nice drive shafts mirrors look good not, not much in the way of mold lines around them that's quite nice there weren't even masses of cleanup like they sometimes do uh yeah Right. Clear bits. Let's have a look at these. Screaming out for a mask set. I think I've had conversations with Ravel historically where I've said, why do you, if you're aiming at a marketplace where um, people are going to be brush painting and things like that, why don't you put masks in your car kits? Uh, because really that would make life a lot easier for people. Um, and the answer is always financial. Fine. Uh, if you're buying them in bulk, they will not be massively expensive and it will improve your customer experience no end. But there you go. Uh, that is clearly where those vents go, those grey de decals go, because there's vents in there. How to get those grey decals down over those vents, I do not know. You would be far better painting them. And I probably will. Little quarter lights are nice and frosted too. That's a nice touch. Okay. But the glasses, I mean, it set aside what I've just said about masking. The glass is commendably clear, although there is a scratch on that windscreen already. That'll take some buffing out. Or is it or is it in something in the plastic? Huh. That actually looks like a piece of debris in the glass. Just here not annoying at all um headlamp lenses look appalling <laughs> they are very 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 ropey um there's lots of distortion and they don't look particularly well polished i have to say on the tool so there's stuff there you know that's a bit ropey <laughs> a typical revel product um a bit of a curate's egg. Shape-wise, it looks decent. Um, Detail-wise, yeah, there's plenty. How it builds, don't know. We're going to find that out soon, soon probably. Uh, providing I don't get distracted by something else, which is highly likely. Um, comes in at about £35, something like that. That's not bad money for something of this size. And I know it's never going to be a Tamiya kit. Let's be honest, it was never going to be a Tamiya kit. But what I did expect was a little bit of pride in the finish. And I feel like there isn't. Um, plus, they persist with this god-awful plastic, which 
it just feels waxy and, and it's not you know compare it with something like this this is Fujimi's mp4 5 shell okay it's molded in white but from a plastic point of view there is no comparison between the two from just the feel of it and you can see the softness of the detail compared to this yeah um right it's a kit of a, it's a kit of a corvette c8 i very much doubt we're going to get one from anybody else i mean i very much doubt we're going to get one from anybody else sorry if some of this is off camera i haven't got the i don't think i've got that quite lined up probably but you know to me, I aren't going to turn around and do a, an Uber kit of this thing. It's just not their marketplace. We might get the racing one from BMAX if we're lucky. I doubt it. So who else is going to do it? Ravel is it, really. Um, AMT, you never know. But would it be any better than this? A round two kit. I'd rather round two carried on with their current re-release state this program, which is rather lovely, um, than getting involved with this. But there you go, that'd be their choice. Hmm. I think you could probably tell I'm a little disappointed by my tone. Uh, I am. I genuinely am. I've looked forward to this kit for a long time um, because I really love this car. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of work involved both in preparation and in finish to get this thing looking like a Tamiya kit that's 25 years old. Push, actually pushing 30 years old now, just from a point of view of, of tooling quality. And that, unfortunately, kind of sums up the situation. I think someone somewhere needs to take a really good look at production standard and make a decision where they're going. I had my hands on the Aston Martin DB5 recently and it felt better than this. And that was a quick click or whatever they call it kit this isn't so realistically this should feel better than that i look forward to other people's comments on this if anybody's built this by the way and i know there's been a few out there for a little while then please show us what you've done with it um give me some pictures on the page whatever or tell us because I don't know whether I want to.